This is actually a triple bearded bird. Oh, he messed up. We had just trampled all down through there. It's a wonder we didn't blow him out of there. If I'm in this hat, that means one thing. It's time to go hunting. We're kicking off turkey season, something to get you guys excited for the morning. And I'm gonna do it with a quick throwback to two hunts. These were actually back-to-back -back hunts a week apart. Uh, first one was me on a little piece of private ground here in central North Carolina. The other was on game land, filling a game land permit with my buddy. We were able to get him his biggest bird ever. You're not gonna wanna miss this. It is exactly eight o'clock and a fire engine just blew its horn. And I just heard a gobble about 150 yards away for the first time this morning. And that was from a fire truck. We are gonna go ahead and put a call on him. See if I can get him pulled back into here in this little secluded field back in here. On a string, baby. On a string. To have zero gobbles and fire truck at eight o'clock on the dot honks and he gobbles, I do Yelp sequence, and he came in on an absolute string. But thank you, Lord. This is cool. We got the strutter out here. I had him set up so he would look like he was coming into the hen. And all that Tom could see when he came across there was this fan sitting in the sun. I almost didn't put that decoy out and just sat here quiet and listened but I am so glad I did because as soon as he saw that fan he made a 90 degree turn and came right over here this is amazing I'm so excited right now he is actually triple bearded his main beard has rottened off completely and there's two more smaller beards here still you can see this is his secondary beard about eight inches this is his third beard about six inches and that right there was his main beard but you can see he's got sorry i'm still shaking i'm all shaking beard rot so very mature bird let's take a look at these hooks about an inch and i was sitting on that pine tree in there in the complete shadow darkness shot through brush to get out here and he was clueless i was here maybe 20 yards maybe 18 yards not very far and at one point he was over here maybe 12 yards away couldn't stand the strutter man he came right into it knocked him down you can see it a lot better now this is actually a triple bearded bird. You got the one tertiary beard there, and you got the longer secondary beard. And as you can see, the main beard, I mean, we're gonna call it an inch, but it's got beard rot, and so it's gone. Probably inch and a half from the body. So I mean, it's there, it's present. It's just not, you know, dragging like a long beard. Um, but this is a triple bearded bird, which is pretty cool. I've killed a double bearded bird, and of course, you know, one bearded birds, but I've never killed a triple bearded bird. So I'm very excited, that's a first for me. Furs were decent, you know, what you would expect, about an inch, nothing crazy. You can see they're about the same on both sides. And as always, these things stink, man. <laughs> they, they have a smell to them, but couldn't be more excited about this bird.
that was a pretty exciting hunt for me to kill a triple bearded bird even though it had a beard rod on it very special pretty cool hunt was not expecting that fire engine set off that bird he was dead like five minutes later next up we're headed to the game lands to fill a permit on an awesome bird Oh. <laughs> oh, he messed up. Nice never, beard on him. I have never been so nervous to shoot something in my entire life. How soon did you see him? I couldn't see him until he was he cleared where I was at. I had not saw him, I could shoot him. That was it. That's him, man. Look at the size of that paintbrush. Oh my word. Oh. Dude, he saw that red head down there and couldn't stand it. They're just curving. They're good hooks. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're trying to... Look how red he is. Oh, he is fired up. Oh, my gosh. We had this trampled all down through there. And how he pop we... out, and there he is. So where was he? Dude, it's a wonder we didn't blow him out of there. There you have it. Two successful hunts that were a lot of fun to get you excited for the turkey opener here in North Carolina. Please, please, please be safe, be courteous, be respectful if you're on game lands. Uh, more than ever, for me, it's important because now I'm taking a little boy out with me. Me and a seven-year-old have a game land permit in the morning where we've got a bunch of birds roosted and located, hoping there's not going to be too much pressure in there because it's a permit only. But please, please be safe, be courteous, and good luck. Hopefully, the next video I drop will be me with my boy and a dead bird. But until then, you all be safe. God bless. Take care.